imagine that you're surrounded by a large team of robots. And you have a single joystick for making them move in useful ways. What should you do with that choice? There are many possible answers that draw inspiration from the world around us, but they all rely on control theory as the glue between vague ideas and actual robotic movements. One idea could be to think about how we can manipulate a large number of objects by stirring them as if they were a liquid. By stirring the robots, the human operator can provide a desired robot flow and a corresponding robot pressure is computed in a distributed manner, making the robots move. Or, the input could be a musical score that tells us what keys need to be played, but not which fingers or robots should be used as a high-level instruction to the team. The robots figure out who should play what note in order to minimize the total distance traveled by solving a so-called assignment problem. Or, one can draw inspiration from natural predator-prey interactions. Together, the lion robots hunt the gazelle robot as a way of controlling it in a provably effective manner. Or, one can look at the way marching bands execute complicated movements. By specifying desired formations, control theory helps the robot figure out how the formation should be assembled. Or, the robot JC could be some kind of squishy sand. By solving an optimal coverage problem, the robots track areas with more sand or brighter intensities. By drawing inspiration from the world around us, control theory holds the key to making robot teams do useful and amazing things. It is what allows us to go from science fiction to science fact.